these are all the bits once you've taken it apart that should be in your double clutch now a lot of this is obviously doubled up from one side to the next and then there are some bits in the middle so on each side you should have a side plate then you should have two of these little washers uh, one's got a flat side one's got a rounded side and they go into the side plate with the rounded side down thus like that and each side should have two of these rings uh, fair rings I think they're called I'm not entirely sure but anyway it should be two of those per side one goes in the front of the side piece and that goes in the second then each side should also have a handle the jamming plate uh, jamming cam and spring two metal guide plates and a pin in the middle there should be the middle center piece uh, these have got um, bearings that go all the way through there should be uh, one uh, long bar that has two sear clips on as you can see I've got to replace one because I've broken one uh, there's another long bar which is on its own and then there's another one long bar uh, with two plastic uh, shims on it and then various nuts and bolts to hold everything together uh, before I forget these two stainless steel pieces here are for an additional idea that I had um, which is on another video start rebuilding the jamming clutch for the halyards start with the side piece which is completely clean and we can install two shaped washers bearings and they go into the side plate with the uh, shaped rounded side going down like that then we've got two fairing rings they go into the into like that now when it comes to the bottom jamming plate uh, you might be able to see that this is actually handed and this will only go into this side plate one way and this is done by this little dimple in the side of the side plate and that lines up with the last bump in this jamming plate and it will only go in one way so once we go in like that you can probably see that the last uh, bump in the jamming plate is lined up with the dimple in the side plate once we've got that together we take the bar which has the grooves in the end of it for sir clips and with any luck you've still got one sir clip on it and that needs to be fed from the underside and up like that in the first hole next we need to take a metal plate and the way I've got this set up is it goes this way around so that the flat edge is at the top and this little guide piece is on the bottom and we go in like that what I suggest next is the handle which goes on like that and then move it around so that it sits snugly in the metal plate like that and with any luck the rest of these holes should line up next we take short uh, stainless steel bar and that goes in the leftmost hole 
Next, we take the jamming cam with the spring attached. I mean, that's fairly easy to come on and off, as you can see. Like that. And then that goes on to this middle pin or this first pin like that. This piece here has two little bits of plastic shims on it. So take one of those off, we'll use that in a minute. The next one goes into the middle hole and the little plastic shim uh, provides a uh, load surface for the cam as it operates. So it's frictionless, so you shouldn't get any rust or um, corrosion and whatever in there. So next we get the final stainless steel bar, put it in the spring and then lever that over so that it fits in like that. And I'd suggest things are starting to get under tension here so pay attention. So now we need to put the final stainless steel plate and it needs to go up the other way so that the guide flange is on the inside and the straight edge is at the top. Now again, need to try and line everything up like so and everything, all the posts should be vertical and you shouldn't be able to move the bottoms anywhere and that is nearly it. Now we've got the one side built we can bring in the middle piece and again it's a case of lining up the bars with the holes and sliding it down nice and securely and giving it some effort to close it up and if it's reasonably close then this join in here should be reasonably small the the final closure will happen when we tighten up all the bars and that is how you put together one side of the jamming clutch and the second half is pretty much the same once you've got one side and the middle together you should have three pins sticking out the side you should be able to move the handle up and down smoothly and when you reach the far end of your motion you should see this cam going up and down with the stainless steel plates going up and down might be able to, easier to show you that on the side there we go you can see the stainless steel plates going up and down like this and on the inside when it's fully open you should be able to see all the way through once the jamming cleat once the jamming cam is all the way down then you can't see all the way through so this is looking good at the moment and now to build the second side to build the second side uh, it's pretty much the same as before uh, we get stainless steel plate make sure um, the straight edges at the top make sure that's there that. put your fair rings in uh, it's quite easy to forget these so make sure you don't forget those and in the final side plate we've got our two shaped washers in again with the with the rounded side facing down but other than that it's pretty good to go this little plastic piece that goes on the middle bar like that we have final short bar make sure that slots in the jamming cam and the spring fits over like that put the handle in 
like that, make sure it slots down. You might need to open it and close it to get that in. Final metal plate, again, this shape bit down the bottom, straight edge at the top. And again, what we can do is open up the, the handle to get that metal plate in. And the final side, whoop, careful these washers don't fly out. If it wants to fall out, then just put it on the pin. And what we do is we line that up. So the only pin you should be seeing is the one that's got the circlip on it, which you may or may not have to replace. So again, once it's all neatly together, these gaps down here should be quite small. Second handle comes up and down easily enough. And inside, all the fairings are in the right place. So apart from putting the uh, bolts that hold it together, that's it. Good luck.